Hello there, everyone. My name is Ray. Today we're going to play some more Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. This is part number 11. Thank you for joining me for today's episode. You'll notice we are in Tarzan's world, and the homie Tarzan is with us himself. We did a little bit of leveling up, although it amounted to literally nothing, because I'm now level 20 instead of level 18. But the only real thing I got was an AP increase. I got an AP increase... And that's all I remember. I don't remember what level 19 was. It was not a strength increase. It was not a defense increase. Um, he didn't get another ability. I checked the stats from the previous episode and matched it with this episode. So he didn't get any strength or defense increases. And look at his freaking defense. is only 11. That's just jibba jabba. Like, come on. Regardless, though, um, the reason we are in the jungle, deep jungle, is because, one, this is where I did my leveling up. This is always where I do my leveling up. Um, at this point in the game. And two, we are going to do this little jungle two tree slide thing. I already did the, the first one on screen. You guys saw that. I did the second one off screen because I wasn't going to do all of this on screen. I was just going to um, do all of it off screen and let you know what the hell I got. But you'll notice this right here. Restart. That's the reason why I wasn't going to do it on screen because usually in the Kingdom Hearts that I played, the original Kingdom Hearts... Um, once you are done with this, win or lose, you have you you'll just land somewhere in the level, and then you have to climb all the way back up. That a bitch. And it's super annoying to have to do that over and over and over and over and over again. So you guys have already seen that part of the slide, and like I told you before, you still have to collect all the fruits. So they're not going to let you collect all the 10 fruits in one area and then just skip it and go to the next one. You still have to catch all, you still have to pick up all the fruits. Oh, okay. I thought I, I, I mean, I broke one of them, but still got hit by the other ones. That's fine. So we've got three more coming up here. This one's super kind of annoying to get. That one right there is the super annoying one. This one over to the right usually throws me off too. But, since we got them all, Tarzan, you need to move, buddy. Um, right is the exit normally, but since we beat that one already, we can go to the left. I do not know where these next ones are, so I guess I'm just going to have to try it out. But again, if you screw this up, the fact that they implemented the ability for you to just restart is ridiculous. Now, is there... I think there's five of these sections. First section we got was... Um... Actually, I forget what the first one was. But the second one gave us an AP up. And we got a Dark Matter? I don't want to restart while we're doing this, because I don't want to risk... I don't want to risk that negating what I just got, even though I did pick it up already, so I should still have it. But strange things have happened in RPGs. Um, dark Matter. A rare ore... Found once in a blue moon. Use items at this is okay. I think I've ever seen dark matter before. I did go around here and get some more mystery goos though. There were some uh, locations here where the white mushrooms were showing up, so we did that. Anyway, now that we're done with this, I, I'm not. I'm not here to fight any enemies. I already did some leveling up. It's all good. I'm just wanting to. Get back to where we were. Now it will be faster. It will be faster to go back to the gummy ship and then re-enter as opposed to going to the hippos lagoon. I like how Jane is still just standing here. <sighs> she, that's all she does for the rest of the game. You can come here anytime you want. Anytime you want and she will just be standing there. It's kind of weird how they do this because um, this is the fourth world that we visit but this is the first world um, that you're able to 100% complete. Like you have no... Once you're done with this level, you have no reason to come back here. Um, pretty much at all. Unless you're trying to come back later to get the uh, mystery goos from the white mushrooms. There's literally no reason for you to have to come back here ever. Because you can get everything done here on the first... Um, on the first little time that you come through here. The exception being that white trinity, which is in every world. But um, Alice in Wonderland, uh, you get that figured out, finished up, it's all good. You have to go back there later, though, for another thing that happens. Um, 
and the Olympus Coliseum you go back to several times throughout the course of the game and of course you guys already know we are currently on a mission back in Traverse Town, Traverse Town again however you want to pronounce it. Now the reason why I find this um, part of the slide so annoying is because there's kind of like some invisible walls here when you're sliding around this place they kind of just they send you where they want you to go like when you have that option to get those three fruits that I just got you're the left the right or the middle if you're even slightly off point on the left or the right the game will just send you all the way to the left or the right now this one's incredibly easy compared to the cave one that we just did they're all pretty much lined up for you and I say that and I can still very well screw this up so that's three now we gotta hang ourselves a right over here I think this next one is a set of vines too you guys can probably tell too how Sora's kinda moving to one direction oh no this is another cave one isn't it okay it is vines or a tree trunk I guess I can't see Tarzan that wonderful man mane of yours. Wait, why didn't I get hit by that branch? I mean, I'm not complaining. I can't see Tarzan. It is possible to just hold back like this and then just let him get ahead of you. That's usually what I do. Defense up. Definitely needed that. Now the last one will be over to the left. I like how they do give you that little show about, you know, that, that back view. This will drop us off in the waterfall, I believe, right? Something like that. Yeah. We already I came back and you did all of these um these treasure chests already, but I will show you. I don't know if I showed this off before. I purposefully did these treasure chests off screen, by the way. It wasn't a recording attempt that failed or anything like that. They they weren't too special. One item was an Ori Calcum. That's pretty good. Um, the other item I don't even remember what it was. Like I said, nothing special. I'm not gonna show every single itty bitty little thing. Because what's the point? Back in the Cavern of Hearts where we were, this white trinity is the only reason you ever have to come back. But again, if you're not trying to get the trinities, if you're not trying to get all of the trinities, once you've beaten this world, that keyhole is locked up, you have absolutely no reason to ever come back to it. I swear to God, Sora, let go of the freaking ledge, man. It's not that serious, bro. I don't understand why he wants to flex to show us off the muscles this is pretty cool though that they show this there's no real reason for them to show all this background you got those mountains off in the distance we got mo muggers and you know the last ledge that we fell off of on that slide brought us over here it's pretty close pretty close to where we just were at let's do this legit I'm not gonna use the um I'm not gonna use the go back to the gummy ship method. Let's do this one legit. Pretty much what I do with these worlds, I know I'm, I did part of this before, but pretty much what I do with the Oh I guess you have to come back to get that treasure chest because we don't have the ability to get it just yet if you give a crap about that kind of thing. But I'm talking like storyline wise, like purpose wise. No reason to come back here. But anyway. Um I think Deep Jungle kinda gets the shaft, honestly. If you're not a completionist, if you're not trying to collect everything in the game, this is a one and done. And I guess you could say that about um, Alice in Wonderland's level as well. But, um, spoiler alert, I guess, skip ahead 10 seconds if you don't want to know what's going to happen. Um, there's a weapon you can get. There's a keyblade you can get in Alice in Wonderland. Wait, why the hell is Donald here? Oh, I'm an idiot. I went to the gummy ship and came back and never switched him back to Tarzan. I mean, it's fine. I don't give a damn that he's here. I was just confused. They don't leave the party as, as you had it. It always defaults to Sora, Donald, and Goofy. But what I do with the worlds, I go to the world. I use the character that the, that level gives you. And then um, we beat that level. And I go back through that level with the... Um, Sora, Donald, and Goofy, the actual quote-unquote trinity. So I can do the trinities. Pick up all that stuff. The next time I go through there, um, pretty much every subsequent visit to that world will again 
have me partnered up with that world's character. It's odd to a lot of people, I'm sure. Me personally, though, the way I look at it is it's their world, it's their problem. It's their, it's their friends that are in danger. Sure, the Heartless are our enemy as well. Obviously, they're like the main things that we fight. But at the same time, this is their world that's in danger. That's what I mean by it's their problem. This is their world that needs protecting. We're here to stop the Heartless from doing what they're doing. But I just think that the people who actually live there should have a hand in defending their world if they're able to do so. So we've got Tarzan with us because this is his jungle. This is his home that's in danger here. Why shouldn't he be the one to protect them when he's more than able to, you know what I mean? I go pick up some little two-year-old orphan boy who can't fight and be, hey, protect your world on your own, here's a sword, have at it. But at the same time, Tarzan's able-bodied, so it is what it is. I know I get a little bit too into these games. I love the story aspect, I love the character growth, all that stuff. It's what makes an RPG worth playing to me. Alright, Tarzan, go ahead, bro. I'm gonna hang back. I just, there's so many parts of this that I can't see because you're. Go! I don't need you to be hella far, I just need you to be far enough ahead so I don't miss these fruits, bro. And this next one, hang to the left here. This next one is actually, I think, in the waterfall. This is probably the most annoying one for me. Hopefully I get it in just one or two tries. If I screw up by even missing one fruit, I'll just restart it. That's another reason why I'm so glad they had this. Uh, okay. This looks so cool though. It's weird because, oh dear lord. Did I get that one? I got it, okay. Cool, all right, not bad. It's weird because um, I will actually come back here and just slide through this place. For absolutely no reason. This also drops us off in the waterfall. What the hell? Yeah, no. I will come back here and just slide through this place for absolutely no reason at all. By the way, these are by far my favorite items to get in the game. Defense ups and power ups. They do exactly what they sound like. They raise your strength or they raise your defense. AP up will raise your AP. Nothing, uh, nothing hidden. No super secret meaning or anything like that. Now all we need to do is carve a path through these chump sources. We'll be good to go. Is Donald lower level than me? I think Goofy is the one that has, um... Well, one of them has less experience in the beginning of the game. Uh, to level up and they need more at the end of the game. I think that's Goofy. And then I think Donald is the one that is uh, more experience in the beginning of the game. Less experience in the end. Yeah, because you see, Goofy's two levels above us. He's taking less experience to get up there. Uh, whereas Donald is taking more experience. He's two levels below us. Towards the end of the game, though, Donald will actually max out his level before Goofy does. And Goofy, I think, will be the la oh, I'm not dealing with you. I'm not dealing with you. Normally, I would, but I've got... I've got a level to complete. We've been in Traverse Town for two, 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 two levels now. Two episodes now, and we need to get this work. Wait a minute. Let me see. You guys will see what the warp gummy looks like now. Oh. We can just go on to the next world now? We don't have to finish up Traverse Town yet? I call it Traverse Town. I don't know how you guys pronounce it. Shit. Let's do that. We're gonna. We're still gonna finish off uh, Traverse Town. Traverse Town, whatever. But, um. I'm gonna show you guys. I guess it'll be a little bit of a, a cliffhanger. Show you guys what this next world is. Um. Yeah, that's crazy. I didn't know you could do that now. I thought you had to be. Traverse Town before you, uh, could do that. Stay up top so you don't have to worry about these rings. Who are you flying at? Like, you about to do something. Hello? Respect on my name, bro. Ooh, 
see, these guys all have so many weapons. We're not doing anything with them, though. I don't think we can fly below that. Rutabaga looking. It's kind of crazy that we can actually... And I know it's got nothing... That looks nothing like Rutabaga. It's kind of crazy that we can shoot it from above it. That auto... That auto whatever. That auto aim, I guess. Yeah, but no, that's really weird. I didn't realize that you could do that. Maybe I just always beat Traverse Town before. Even I think that's what it was. Because I do, I do my leveling with this... I, I have to change the way that I play the games... For the actual, uh, for the actual recording of a video, obviously I can't just grind and grind and grind. Because normally, when I get to deep jungle, what I do is I go through the first fight. You have no choice; you're forced into it. Then you find Donald, and you find Goofy, and then instead of um, going to beat the boss, I go and clear out the areas in the level that you have to clear out. And then once that's done. Does Chipperdale show up and say something? I think they do, right? Looks suspicious. Maybe it leads to another world. They even changed the animation. I got me another blueprint. Oh, dear God. Oh, 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 dear God. Give me that special. I need it. I'm about to die in here. Woo, 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 woo. Please don't. Leave me be. I'm good. I'm good. Some odd looking, uh... Some odd looking ships. Another blueprint. I'll take it. Imp, 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 imp. Another blueprint. Like, these guys, they, they're, their big battle tactic is to just fly into you as, 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 as hard as possible. Oh my god, it works. Oh my god, I am so offended that it works. I am so offended that it works! Stop! Go so how did I not get that? Whatever, like I said, it's gonna be a little bit of a preview when you guys see the world popping up. Pop 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 in up and then I can I killed 147 heartless get destroyed. You guys don't even understand. Ooh! I know the music changes here too, right? It's not loud enough for me to hear it because I'm doing recording and I would really rather not have this stuff show up as like a echo or a backdrop or whatever. Ooh. First one of whatever that was. Adamant. I'll take it. Yeah. So what I do is um, I clear out those monkeys in the auto fights. And we're not going to aggravate yet. But it'll be sitting there ready for us so we can just warp to it later. So it's all good, baby. Any world you've been to, regardless of how far away it is, you can just go to instantly now. Warp. You are free to travel from each world to each world normally, if you so desire. You want to do those little missions and all that other stuff, it's all good, baby. It's all good. But at the same time, I've got a schedule to keep. So, I'm going to go to the Magician's Study. See if he will let me... Yeah, see, he does send you to the cavern. What the hell? Maybe you have to leave the world first. Anyway... Um, you guys saw last episode. White Trinity, you guys saw the last episode. I wasn't able to do that. Can we... There's nothing about this at all, okay. That's important later on. But for now, not so much. Like I said, I clear those monkeys out, and then I just immediately go to the cliff top area, or the treetop area, and, um, level up. Like two or three level games, and then I'll go after the boss. But for the sake of, uh, for the sake of the video and my ability to record, did one of you really just hit this thing? It had to be Donald with with lightning. Come on, son. Um. Yeah. So obviously, for the sake of the video, I can't. In, in my ability to record, my time, of my uh, able time to record, however much time I have to record whatever however however the hell I'm supposed to word that sentence that I apparently am incapable of wording coherently I have to just do it all in one shot so any level oh my god I'm taking so much damage um I have to just do it all in one shot like I just said air soldiers yes so I don't have I literally do not have the time to uh Record for like 15-20 minutes, get all that done, and then go back to where I was. Level up, 
and then start another recording session, which isn't really a session, it'd be like 10 minutes, um, and handle it that way, it just wouldn't work. And I believe, oh my god, I believe the, um, the green dudes, the ones that heal, um, are pretty much immune to the other elements, like, every element. Like, they are the ones that gain health back. Oh my goodness. And apparently it, it counts as a tech to hit them with their opposite element. So the lightning dude, I don't think they have one. Because you hit the fire one with an ice spell, you get a tech. You hit the ice one with the fire spell, you get a tech point. So the heartless apparently rung this bell because they know about it, what it does. And I will show you, there's a journal entry about uh, something that's about to happen that's a little weird. I wonder how it seems for the inhabitants of this game. Once you leave this world, like, are you, have you literally just, you know what? Let's use... Let's use a camping set. So everyone's maxed out now. I really, really should have gone and bought some... Uh, potions before I came here. Actually, you know what, Goofy? You can have both regular potions. Donald will get the love of the Mega Potion. You will not fight any enemies on your way to this once that keyhole has showed up. There's nothing around here. I think this over here is supposed to be like an homage to the Mad Hatter. Suits and dresses, that guy. I don't know if it is or isn't, but it just looks like the Mad Hatter to me. Anyway, let's handle this. We've seen him before. He's no more difficult than he once was. Stay away from him. Be intelligent about it. As I almost dodge all directly into the ass beating. Oh no, he fell apart, although not really. Well, I mean, he did, but... It means nothing to him. Fool! You thought it was the guard armor. But instead it was I. The opposite armor. Up. You lied to me. I'm pretty sure that's his name too. I love this music, by the way. How much damage did he do to Donald? Oh my god. I like he he healed uh, Donald, didn't he? Uh, goofy. When I was younger, I was I like how that thing says alleyway. Like you can actually go into the alleyway. You can't. Donald is dead. Did you use your uh, mega potion, bro? I really don't think you did. Um, when I was a youngster, I used to think that you could. Oh, I used to think that you could actually. Uh, lessen the amount of damage that he could give you. We could literally just seal this keyhole right now. There's nothing he could do about it. We're right next to it. Um, I used to get asked why I jump so much. It's literally just for the fact that you deal damage faster. You don't deal more damage. Technically, I guess you do if you look at the fact that you can get more attacks in, but that's, that's why I do it. You get more attacks in. You know what, actually? I'm not sure if you can. Um, I'm not sure if you can do more, or if you can, uh, dodge to the, uh, the alleyway. I don't think you can hit that energy ball back at him either. Could you do something else, dude? Goofy's the MVP with that shield, too. He legit blocked that thing at least once or twice. Uh, Donald. Oh my god. Actually, I guess I didn't need to do that with all these. 
uh, energy orbs, life orbs right here. I, I am not able to dodge him all of a sudden. Not sure why. I was about to heal you up, Donald, but since you got up on your own. 390, that's it? I want my money's worth! Pretty crazy, but we got him. I'm pretty sure his name is Opposite Armor. An odd name. I tell you, the power of wind. Wind magic spell, Arrow. Arrow is the first magic spell that we learned in the game that takes two MP instead of one to use. And right now it's relatively pointless, although this is proud mode, so I might use it more often. Um, but it's one of the main spells I use later on in the game when it gets upgraded to its final form. And we can use it to its, its greatest potential, I guess you could say. It's a very good spell for decreasing damage. I think it cuts the damage, I don't want to say in half, but it decreases it by a fair amount. And again, with this being proud mode, another Navi gummy piece. With this being proud mode, um, decreasing the damage that we take will be quite handy. Let's go to the journal real quick. I want to look at the Heartless. I haven't looked at any of these guys yet, but that's so good. Opposite armor, yeah. Heartless that guards the keyhole in Traverse Town, Traverse Town, whatever. It is a modified form of guard armor, but is more powerful. So, again, this thing says that he is the guardian. He guards the keyhole tra to Traverse Town. That's why he wasn't here before and he never showed up because he had no reason to show up. The keyhole wasn't exposed. But once we expose the keyhole, the way they word that makes it seem like he was trying to stop us. Him showing up makes it seem like he was trying to stop us from sealing the keyhole to protect the town. Um, sealing the keyhole would be us protecting the town and he didn't want that but that journal entry makes it seem like he was protecting the keyhole so I mean it is possible that there are good heartless out there just being a heartless doesn't inherently make you evil we have seen um, situations where um, nobodies that are in Kingdom Hearts 2 have gone out of their way to um, assist us so there are nobodies that'll help you so i mean it's not completely out of the question that there are heartless that would you know try and defeat other heartless or stop other heartless from doing dumb crap but uh, this guy is now taking over sid's position i guess it's the exact same stuff as before so you know we're out of here please come again i will come again mainly because this is a video game and i won't have a choice but to come again item shop uh, but that's it, though, with this place. We can just go on to Agra, but now we're finished up here. For now, anyway. Let us buy... Buy some potions. Buy a good amount of potions. We don't need high potions just yet. We don't have any increase in their weaponry. So, ten potions should be okay for now. And those are literally ten free heals. Uh, matter of fact, before I forget, let's do this. Um... Goofy. Regular attacks frequently. Special attacks frequently. Shield techniques frequently. I don't want him to just go through and use all of his crap. HP items only in emergency. MP items only in emergency. Uh, Donald. Basically the same thing. Offensive magic though. We should have that. Stay as constantly. And then MP items only in emergency. And I want to make sure it saves. It does. Okay. Good. So that's it for us. We're done with this episode. We did a little bit of sliding around. Did a little bit of uh, world saving. So it's all good. I'll consider that a successful episode. Thank you all for watching as always. My name is Ray. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter. If that kind of thing interests you, the link will be in the description. But until next time, take care of yourselves, everybody. Bye.